Hi, Patrice. How are you? Hey, Olivera. Not too bad. What about you? Yeah, great. Thanks. I've been really looking forward to this conversation about Chronicle and Tanium because a lot of people have been asking me about our partnership. And I, I thought a fun way of doing that would be with our unboxing series. So as part of Architect Tomorrow, we unbox products and we un- unbox uh, technologies, have a, have a bit of a parody on the unboxing sort of craze. So here is the Chronicle box. Uh, and actually, you know, it's on top of the, the Tanium one. We did Tanium previously. So if folks want to sort of see Tanium in more depth, they can go check that video out. But today it's all about Chronicle and Tanium uh, within Chronicle. So um, let's, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I can't wait to see uh, what you're going to get in your, uh, in your box for a cloud technology such as Chronicle. So let's, let's show us. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? That, you know, cloud, of course, means you don't need physical uh, products. But, you know, imagine, uh, we'll have to kind of imagine, for, if you will, that it, it, you did get it shipped to you. But anyway, so let's, let's, let's see what we've got in here. So, you know, start so we've got the classic packaging. So let's just get rid of the packaging there. It's, it's going out of the way. Um, Protection, actually, that's important. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so the first thing I've, I've got in here, actually, is a, a Google Cloud uh, a pass from an event. Um, no, yeah, a long time ago, we used to do uh, physical events where uh, we were having lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now we just record uh, you know, v- videos on, on Google Meet and Zoom and things. So, um, so the reason I pulled this out, actually, is that I, I wanted to kind of make reference to the fact that we are doing um, some events, aren't we, in the new year. In 2021, we're going to do some events where we talk more about Chronicle and Tanium and folks can ask us questions and learn more about the partnership. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's let's move on to um, the other bits that are in here. So of course it's Tanium and Chronicle. So I'm, the next thing I'm pulling out is is, is Tanium, and we'll talk um, more about the kind of the value of endpoint data and uh, endpoint telemetry and feeding that into Chronicle in a bit. Uh, and for those that want to know more about Tanium, of course we've got plenty of information uh, in, in the other video where we're unboxing Tanium and other other information on the Tanium website. So we'll we won't talk too much about Tanium, but more about how Tanium and Chronicle kind of come together. So that's that, and then. Next thing I have in here is, um, yeah, uh, let's, let's have a look what we've got in here. So in here, okay, I've got some, um, some, some questions here, it looks like, to kind of, for us to kind of talk about so that people know more about um, Chronicle Continuum. But before I get onto those, perhaps let's just talk a little bit about what Chronicle is at a really high level. So what is Chronicle, Patrice? Yeah, so Chronicle is a Google Cloud product, um, and uh, it's a... Um, um, security data lake, it's a cloud analytics solution. We're trying to resolve a, a very basic problem uh, which every large enterprise companies are having these days. And it's uh, what can you do and how can you collect these huge amounts of security events and then apply uh, detection correlation uh, on those um, security events. So this is exactly the problem we are trying to solve. So it's a data problem on one side, it's a mm-hmm. volume problem on the other side, and it's a security problem because we want to be able um, to apply detection and uh, prevention on those huge amount of um, security locks. That's exactly the problem we are trying to solve at Conical yeah. with some unique uh, Google and Google Cloud technologies. Great. So, and of course, Tanium you know, enriches that situation with, with more data, or real-time, near real-time data. Um, and yeah, and, that, and so let's, let's talk about the value then that that, that brings. Yeah. So it's all, it's, sorry, go on. Yeah, it's all about data. So uh, without data, there's not much we can do on the clinical side. The good thing is Tenium can actually collect very valuable data on uh, the endpoint side. And this is why we got this idea to combine our solutions together and uh, come up to the market with a unique uh, full EDR solution. There's some great benefits of of getting the Tanium data into the Chronicle solution. So the first thing here I wanted to ask you is, you know, this year has been really difficult for for many, you know, for personal reasons, but also businesses and organizations have gone through a lot of challenges, you know, a lot of rapid digital transformation. And we've talked a lot about that on our Architect Tomorrow videos, actually, the, the rapid pace of change has had to be accelerated. And unfortunately, of course, that's as much as it's, it's kind of allowed people to work differently and it's, um, there's been some positives perhaps to people's work-life balance in some cases. Unfortunately, it's also created opportunities for uh, threat actors and for, for cyber criminals, unfortunately, hasn't it? So, you know, unfortunately with COVID, we've seen this kind of huge increase in ransomware and, 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 and malware and so on. So how, how, how do we deal with that, you know, with the Chronicle and Tanium partnership? What, what, what would you say we do? Yeah, it, it actually started last year, but we saw um, uh, an upsurge on uh, phishing campaigns and uh, especially ransomware attacks when COVID started early this year. Um, there's a couple of things we can see here. Uh, first of all, um, uh, 
uh, it can affect any um, any enterprise, whatever the size of the uh, of the enterprise, whatever the vertical that enterprise is uh, operating in. So uh, we all have to be humble. We can all be victims of those uh, uh, ransomware attacks. The second thing is, uh, most of the time, they're not really sophisticated or unknown attacks. They've been on for quite a while. Some of them we are seeing these days uh, in Europe, like uh, Ryuk ransomware, uh, Maze ransomware. They've been on for a year or, or more sometimes. Yeah, but it's what, what kind of basics, isn't it, sometimes? It's those kind of basic vulnerabilities that people are unfortunately are just leaving unlocked. That's absolutely, causing... absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it's a matter, again, of prevention and detection. We'll come back to that. Um, but what really changed early this year is uh, the attack surface. So people working from home, that's a different type of um, attack surface for a company. So. Um, for example, checking which machines can possibly uh, be connected using a remote desktop protocol is something very important because this is typically what hackers are targeting uh, in order to penetrate the organization through the remote worker. So that's uh, the, the, the main change uh, this year was really about that uh, attack surface. Another one we see a lot uh, these days is uh, everything around uh, Active Directory domain controllers and that uh, zero logon vulnerability we've been uh, seeing and it's very active these days. Uh, this is typically um, what the, the problem we are trying to solve with our combined solution by giving visibility on the entire organization for uh, the last 12 months by default. So if, if you've been victim of a ransomware attack, then we can give you tools in order to find patient zero, even if that patient zero was six to nine months ago. And if you're not a victim yet, but you want to make sure uh, you do proactive actions, well, then we can help you with um, controlling what's going on inside your organization, um, doing a risk assessment, um, uh, assess uh, whether you are vulnerable or not, uh, do patch management with Tanium uh, and things like that. The Tanium data, of course, helps you identify patient zero, doesn't it? That kind of rich seam of endpoint telemetry can help you with finding where this started and, and how to prevent that happening again in the future. Yeah, so, so some of these attacks, they've been silent for a very long time. Uh, if you look at most of the endpoint detection and response in the market, they give you retro hunting capability. So that capability to do queries, searches, threat hunting on the security information, but uh, for a very small period back in time. What we are offering with uh, that combined solution, Tenium plus Chronicle, is the best telemetry on the endpoint side. You can virtually collect anything you want mm -hmm. on the uh, endpoint and the capability to do retro hunting uh, with Chronicle for uh, by default 12 months. And remember the average dwell time uh, for um, a SOC team to discover uh, uh, the beginning of an attack uh, from, if you have, if you have a, uh, an indicator of an attack right now, the beginning of that attack is usually around uh, six months. So you have to have a solution to come back in time and try to find uh, patient zero traces of um, potential um, uh, IOCs, uh, things like, uh, can I see a DNS request to a CNC server uh, that happened six months ago, but that server was not known as a CNC at that time. Do I see um, in the Tenium logs a trace of a hash of a file that was unknown at that time to be a, a dropper, for example, uh, and um, that has been completely inactive for the last uh, two to three months and then suddenly it's been controlled by a CNC server. This is exactly the problem we are trying to solve by collecting uh, useful information on the endpoint and give the ability to query this information without uh, any virtual limit in the size of logs and uh, back in time. And going back to that point about kind of fixing the kind of basics and um, a lot of this unfortunately is happening because there are things that have just been left unpatched and unfixed. Let's talk a bit about kind of how we can kind of help the security and the IT operations functions optimize how they work together. I see that there's you know, a very complex landscape and a lot of customers, a lot of organizations have loads of different tools, don't they? And, and, and lots of different solutions. And I've, unfortunately that creates a lot of confusion. So um, what are your thoughts around the kind of Tanium and Chronicle kind of approach? How does that simplify things? It, it does simplify things in two ways. One is on the endpoint side, and this is where with the Tanium agent, with a single agent that can do um, usually what uh, you can do with uh, multiple other solutions on the endpoint, whether it's um, uh, asset management, patch management, uh, risk assessment, mitigation, remediation, you can do all of this with a single agent. And that's very important from an ops perspective on mm -hmm. the endpoint, not mm -hmm. only because it's always difficult to deploy an agent on the endpoint, but also because uh, if you have to maintain multiple agents, then uh, you have some potential conflicts, you have some potential 
issues with the footprint of multiple agents on the machine and the user experience is uh, very bad in that scenario. So having a single agent is one thing. The second thing is on the chronicle side is having a single place where you can uh, collect your security events and it's Tenium plus other sources of uh, security information like uh, DNS queries is, uh, is very useful when you want to do threat hunting, but having a single data lake um, with leveraging cloud technologies and uh, search technologies we're using at Chronicle that gives you uh, a single place where you can do your investigation, your threat hunting uh, is a lot more powerful than having a limited on-prem uh, solutions or over cloud solution that will be limited in the amount of uh, security events they can collect or process. The other thing that is very important for a SOC team is uh, the time it takes to uh, detect something and react to something. As a SOC engineer, you might not want to wait multiple hours uh, before you can detect um, a hash of a file or you can detect if your uh, where are your Active Directory domain controllers and if they are patched against uh, zero logon. You don't want to wait multiple hours to do that. You want to do it uh, in real time. And that's what we are offering with the combined solution. The optimization of kind of the technology allows kind of improved processes to be slicker uh, allows kind of people to collaborate and work and work together better and crucially i think also it, it it optimizes costs as well right if you've got lots and lots of different solutions either on the analytics side or on the kind of agent endpoint agent side that's a very expensive way to operate in times where people are coming under pressure to kind of cut costs and, and work more efficiently whilst also delivering enhanced capability and better performance. We deliver our two solutions in a SaaS model. That's also mm -hmm. another way to optimize uh, cost or reduce cost because it's all based on SaaS solutions where you don't have any um, operational cost. We uh, do yeah. that for you with cloud technologies. You only have to worry uh, about um, you know, detecting uh, potential attacks and reacting. Yeah, so kind of cutting out a lot of that infrastructure and the kind of management of the solution by you know, choosing the cloud Chronicle solution and for customers that want to choose Tanium in the cloud, they can do that as well. Or if there are existing Tanium customers that are on-premise, of course, they can continue to. Yeah, and, and technically it's a single click from the Tanium console to activate uh, the yeah. telemetry with a threat response module. And then the Tanium agent is going to stream the telemetry back to Chronicle in the cloud. And we are gonna use uh, Google Cloud and Google technologies uh, inside Chronicle to then uh, format the logs, correlate logs together with multiple sources and then apply detection and notifications and then back into Tanium for uh, incidents response and mitigation remediation actions. The channel architect tomorrow is of course all about the future. What do you see as, as, as this kind of preparing for the future? What, 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 you know, where do you see this kind of going? So what we see is, uh, is uh, pretty common across um, uh, large SOC teams, whether it's um, end users, so large enterprise with a SOC team or managed service providers with um, a security division and delivering security services. They've, they, they've all been building uh, SOC solutions uh, with uh, quite old technologies, to be honest. If you look at what they are using, it's usually on-prem uh, 10 years or more old technologies. And now we are moving to a world where it's um, uh, everybody's working remotely. There's mm -hmm. no perimeter inside the organization. It's a lot of cloud-based applications. Uh, and um, there's a lot of volume of data we can collect, especially in security. And that's very valuable, by the way. The, the telemetry we can collect, for example, from a tenure agent is essential in order to be able to do retro hunting and have visibility on what's going on in the network. And those uh, old technologies, they can't really, it's not a solution to that um, uh, volume of security information issue we're having these days. And if you add to that, the desire to uh, apply machine learning, artificial intelligence analytics on top of uh, security information, then uh, this is typically what uh, we're seeing as a trend, what we call SOC of the future. So leveraging SaaS application, cloud-based solutions in order to um, provide a more efficient um, detection and response uh, in terms of security. So it sounds to me like the SOC of the future, for, for those thinking about that, they should be brave and think about reimagining how that works with a simpler, as you say, SaaS-based model with, with fewer technologies so that they, uh, they, can, they can be more effective right, and, and react faster. Absolutely. Great stuff. Well, look, Patrice, it's been, it's been great talking to you and learning more about our kind of partnership. Uh, and I look forward to uh, you know, seeing, seeing the future of where this all leads. Absolutely. And we'll see you uh, next time for uh, the next physical event. Great stuff. Thank you, Oliver. Th thanks, Patrice.